scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. In my life. Years ago, when I sensed the call of God upon my life, please listen. I began to study books and study men and women. I studied large churches and ministries. And I found out as I studied that there were so many people who were powerless and could not do much. And when God began to describe to me the kind of ministry and the dimensions that he would want me to walk in, I knew that I would have to spend time with God until I taught something genuine. Otherwise, I would have to join the band of people misleading and deceiving themselves and other people, speaking with no results. And then, I began a journey exploring spiritual power. I began to study the lives of men and women who had been used mightily Unfortunately, I did not find many of them that were models enough. I began to study the generals. I began to study the apostles, Elijah. Hallelujah. And in the course of my journey, for me, it was a matter of life and death. It was not just for my name. I knew that I would confront sick people. I knew that I would confront oppressed people. I knew that it would take power for any kind of increase in ministry. Spiritually, numerically, and otherwise. I knew posters would only do so much. I knew English would only do so much. And I made up my mind that I have no message for God's people until I have the power to prove it. Please pay attention to what I'm sharing. This is an exhortation. I want to stir up your heart. I watch in sincere grief as I see a lot of men of God and people who want to be used by God with so much zeal, so much English, but no power. And then a few who have taught what they believe to be power convince themselves that because they taught someone and he fell down. Why do you need spiritual power? I'll tell you. Pastor Alpha and Manasseh shared it very powerfully. There are giants on every mountain. Please pay attention. This city has gates. That you are here is a sign of dominion. It's not a sign of the absence of darkness. It's a sign of the prevailing power of God over them. There are many lives here that have been buffeted by darkness. I talk to people all the time and I minister, I minister all the time. And I watch with shock the way Satan prevails cheaply over the lives of people. There are doors that will never open until power opens them. When Moses went to Pharaoh, there was very little conversation. When the conversations were done, it was an encounter of power. Are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? And then I began to pray. I remember when I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. He never spoke a word to me. 
but he transferred power. Never spoke one word. But something left him and entered my spirit. He said, the entrance of your word giveth light and understanding unto the simple. I remember when I began to see the miracles and the hand of God. Then I began to see other issues that I could not contend with in the lives of people. And I knew that I had to go back. And that was when I learned that you must consistently contend for spiritual power. Let me tell you something. There is too much noise in the church because there is little power. You will always have to explain and explain and explain. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech. He says, but I came to you in the demonstration of the spirit power. That your faith will not be upon the wisdom of men, but upon the power of God. Tonight, I want to guide us through a few secrets. My personal spiritual journey. I promise you that if you pay attention to this little exhortation, you will encounter power. Jacob was a man who met with the Lord and he held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. It was an encounter with power. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. I said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob, a cheat and a supplanter. And he says, from now henceforth, your name is changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have fought with God. You have contended with God and a time must come in a man's life when you'll be tired of the level you are and cry in desperation. Lord, I need your power and your glory in my life. There are gates. Many of us come from all kinds of regions. Hear me. Your personal salvation does not deliver your territory. The gates are still there. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are giants on every mountain. The Bible says, how terrible art thou in your works. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. I remember Bishop Oyedeko sharing one time and he said how that the church was not growing. They were fasting. They were praying. And doing all they knew to do. And it was not growing. And then. One time. While they gathered with the brethren. And they were angry at the situation. He said the Lord asked him to come out. And when he stepped out. He saw a dark cloud. And he said this is the cloud. That makes people to misunderstand your ministry. And he commanded the cloud to roll away. And there was an explosion. Let me tell you something. Time does not change anything. It is power that brings change. Time only reveals. It does not change. For 38 years, the man was sitting at Bethesda. But when the power of God came upon his life, it is power that can give you audacity to be able to bring heaven to bear. To be able to bring the realities of the realm of the spirit here and now it takes power to change an ss genotype to an aa it takes power to open the door of marriage for a lady that has been closed it takes power for a woman without womb to get pregnant it takes power for someone whose life has been tied forever through the greatness of thy power i made up my mind that i have no ministry if i cannot demonstrate its validity Three keys very quickly. And then we are going to pray. The first secret the Lord taught me. Before we talk on the keys, let me just give us a little preamble. First John chapter 5 verse 9. Help us media. First John 5 verse 19. Very simple but interesting revelation that God gives us there. First John 5 verse 19. Can we read it together as projected? 1, 2, read.
Can you read it louder? One, two, read. Although we are of God, I'm giving you an information that the whole cosmos, the social system, lie it in wickedness. Please believe this. That the whole world lies in wickedness. You don't need to offend anybody. The condition to be a victim or a potential victim of the curse that comes upon creation is that you are born of a woman. For as long as you arrive here safely, from birth until you transit, there is a potential for disaster. It takes power to reign. It says, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Rule thou. Pastors, hear me. If your ministry must move from where it is, you can have all the connection in the world. It takes spiritual power. Hallelujah. It takes power for anything to happen in this life. The first key to spiritual power is consecration. Write it down. Don't trivialize what I'm sharing. If you want to see the power and the anointing of the spirit upon your life, the first key is not praying in tongues. The first key is a life of consecration. What does it mean to be consecrated? It means to be yielded. It means to be aligned. It means to be separated unto God. Consecration is a reflection of your submission. A dedication that you have given your whole self spirit soul and body you have laid down your will i see so many people who want power but they still own their wills let me tell you something if it is true spiritual power you want to see in your life your will must die your personal will your ambition you must be willing to lay it aside if you want power with god you cannot take the power of God and fulfill your own agenda. You must die to your agenda. Are you getting blessed? Spiritual power is not a gift. Make no mistakes about it. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Consecration. The price of yieldedness. The centurion when Jesus came, he made a statement. He said, for I am a man under authority. And on the strength of my submission to an authority, I can tell one go and he will go. I can tell one come. And Jesus looked at him. A Roman citizen with such an understanding of the kingdom. Forget about spiritual power when your will is still alive. You want to run your life by your own terms, by your own way. So many pastors are doing their ministry, their church. So many businessmen are doing their business until it becomes God's own. Forget about power, dedication, consecration. I'll never forget one time when I was praying. It was, it, it's not a doctrine, it's my personal I had to, I was praying and I had to stand before God, lay down. I stood naked from head to toe and I said, Lord, I'm dedicated by this prophetic act, my spirit, my soul and my body. Let this mortal body become a superconductor of your anointing. I give it to you. I have no ambition of my own. My end entire life is around the circumference of his will you want to see the power of God upon your life you must come to a point where you die to your will do not think God will give you power to do your thing no it will have to be at his terms that's what was happening to Jacob he touched his tie 
and made him everly dependent on an authority other than himself. There are so many people who are not consecrated to God. It takes dedication. It takes total surrender. That's the word. Surrender. Surrender. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. You gave your everything. So I give my everything. You gave your everything. I give my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. This is the key. This is what I did with my life. Lord, take everything. Take my ambition. Take my destiny. Take everything that means life to me. I surrender it to you. And God says, if you can give me everything. He says, for because you did not withhold your son. That was the key. Consecration is not just about religious rituals. It's about a state of surrender. A state where you know that he becomes your life. It's a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I live in the body, the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son. Are you willing to give up everything? The problem is many of us are not willing to give up everything because we have been able to educate ourselves falsely that every time you surrender all to God, he makes you a failure. Every time you give up to God, he, he, will, he will destroy your life. But he says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. If it is your business, get set to die. If it is your marriage, get set for the pressure to kill you. If they are your children, get set to kill yourself raising them. But when it becomes his own. This song that we sing, they all belong to you. Even the air that we breathe. It all belongs to you, belongs to you, belongs to you. That's the anthem of my life. There's nothing in my life that belongs to Joshua Selman. It belongs to you. Listen, I have transferred every responsibility to him. I will play my part. But it belongs to him. My life is not my own. I have no ambition of myself. My breath belongs to him. My strength belongs to him. This is the first secret of spiritual power. Consecration. That life of surrender. Believe me. So many men of God run around with dots of oil. Looking for anybody that is anointed. And they kneel down with their Personality and flesh. You can soak yourself inside one jerry can of anointing oil. You will only get up littered with oil, but you will not touch power with God. You want power with God. The first secret is surrender. I'm not talking of born again, I'm talking of Him taking everything. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He was speaking to the church. But he was still crying for intimacy. Number two. The second secret of spiritual power. 
is revelation and insight. Revelation and insight. Ephesians chapter 1, please. Let's look at verse 18. Paul the apostle prayed a prayer to the church in Ephesus. And he made an interesting statement. Help us please. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18. He says that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, flooded with light. Then he says that ye may know. When the eyes of your understanding is flooded with light, you know. You come into oneness with a reality. It doesn't just mean to be aware. It's not talking of awareness. It's talking of a state of oneness where you and that reality have become one. It says that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power the bible says now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all that we ask or imagine but all of that is limited to the power that works within us light and illumination when light breaks open over your spirit please hear me when illumination breaks open authority is given to you in the spirit one time i was in a vision i've shared it here a number of times and while i was in a vision i saw a big door giant gate and when i looked closely it was zoomed to me and i looked at it closely and i found out that that big door was made of smaller doors and on every door, there was a scriptural inscription on it. I saw the doors opening and closing. And every time they opened light, like an arrow would just shoot out of it. And then the Lord began to reveal to me that this is what happens. When people catch a revelation of a dimension of truth, the light, the power, the anointing to demonstrate its validity is released upon them. Meaning when you teach a thing you cannot demonstrate, you have not caught the light yet, no matter how you pretend it. Illumination. Illumination. This is part of the benefit of prayer. That when you pray, capacity is given to you in the spirit. It's like a, a, an elevation in the spirit that tilts you in a position where you are able to see clearer. And on the strength of that illumination, you will walk. Hallelujah. There are so many people groping around. Dominion, I've said it again and again. Dominion is not an impartation. You don't receive an impartation called dominion. No. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the laws and the mysteries of the kingdom. The scripture Pastor Alpha shared in Job 38, he was trying to quote it. Verse 33, he says, Knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens, and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth? Do you know the laws that govern the realm of the spirit? And can you establish their dominion? There is something that if you know right now, the door that has been closed over you will open. There is an access to light there is something when a pastor knows increase becomes unlimited there is something when a man of God knows his life becomes a mystery every man functions according to the measure of light that is accessible to him the Bible says you will only arise and shine to the degree to which your light has come not when you are tired of sitting Arise and shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Let me tell you a little secret, especially if you are in ministry. There is a level of spiritual illumination that begins to rise from your life and your ministry. It starts attracting a kind of people. First, it will attract Gentiles. Kings will not come yet. Kings don't come to your life. They come to the brightness. 
So there is a degree of illumination you have that will begin to bring certain people. But as the light keeps getting brighter, it will begin to compel certain kinds of people. Light. Illumination. I'm not just talking of Bible study. I'm talking about access to the mysteries of the kingdom. It says, call on to me. And that's why we are praying tonight. Because we need access to light. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call on to me and I will answer. It says, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. There are things we do not know. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants. Not everything is accessible to everyone. When Saul and his men watch this. Uh, was it Saul or David now? I can't get the story quite clearly. But when they were returning back, they were tired and hungry. And they went to the priest and asked. They said, we want bread. Here's what the priest said. They said he said, there is no ordinary bread. The common bread is finished. But there is a hallowed bread. There are deeper things in the spirit. Weightier dimensions of illumination. That can turn a man to become like a spirit. But it happens when you call upon him. He says, call unto me. When the king wanted to destroy Daniel and all his friends, he said, let the king not be hasty in this. I will bring the king a right answer. He went back and called upon him and his eyes were open. He says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. Brothers and sisters, hear me. The next dimension of our life and destinies are at the mercy of spiritual secrets and mysteries this ministry by the grace of God is revolving around mysteries spiritual mysteries a mystery is a hidden code of operation it's a spiritual code of operation that only takes the agency of the Holy Ghost for you to understand its operation and it says it has been given unto you to know there is a mystery that will command dominion in your family. That all those powers of darkness that attempt to tie people's destinies down. Illumination. Number three. The third key to walking in spiritual power is being and remaining full of the Holy Ghost. Being full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. There are different measures and dimensions of the Holy Spirit that can find expression in people. But if you want spiritual power in your life, let me tell you there is no laziness. You must be full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, Satan, come to me and does not find anything of himself. It was, it was Stephen. While he was about to be stoned, the Bible says he was full of the Holy Ghost and power to a point that his face was like that of an angel. In Bible time, the condition to be a worker in the welfare department is that you are full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. That was a requirement. To serve tables, you must be full of the Holy Ghost. There are so many believers who are not full of the Holy Ghost. That's why we carry our emptiness and we keep embarrassing ourselves. And there is one spiritual key to being full of the Holy Ghost. Prayer. Prayer. The ministry of prayer with fasting. It's the key. Spiritual key. That's why we must pray. When you are full of the Holy Ghost, Brothers and sisters, there is an energy that is generated within you. Every yoke, is, the Bible gives us a picture. It's like an expansion that is happening. There is a level that expansion gets. It breaks every chain at once. At once. 
full of the Holy Ghost. That's the level that we must contend. That you pray to a point where you become full of the Spirit. And certain things will happen to you the moment you are full of the Spirit. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine, wearing in excess. It says, but be ye filled with the Holy Ghost. If you are truly filled, naturally, certain things will start. You will start speaking. Not by your mental assent. You are speaking as a response. Because when, when you are full of anything, whatever spirit or agency fills you up, begins to live out its nature through you. Manifesting its characteristics through you. That's how people become superhuman. They are full of the Holy Ghost. To a point that they become puppets. Their voice is the voice of the Spirit. Their hands have become the hands of the Holy Ghost. So when they tell you God bless you. They speak on the strength of the agency. The only way to communicate being full of the Holy Spirit is being drunk. When a man drinks to stupor. There is a level to which he drinks and that, that alcohol influences his mind and his faculty and momentarily he loses consciousness. At that point, he will say things and do things that are a direct influence of that alcohol. When you become full of the Holy Spirit, then the spirit of prophecy will fall on you and you will begin to speak and call things that be not. Let me tell you something. The correct order of dominion prayers is to pray in tongues until you are full before you begin to prophesy. You don't just stand up and start saying, in Jesus' name, gates open. No. There is a dimension you stretch in the spirit. It's like an escape velocity. When you get there, the spirit of prophecy comes upon you. And you begin to make decrees. And I trust God that we'll get to that dimension tonight. That is the level where you can call things that be not as though they were. That is the level where the anointing will shatter every yoke when you are full of the Holy Spirit. But when that power is at work in your life, it begins to activate possibilities. Brothers and sisters, hear me. It takes power for the gate of your destiny to be opened. Every one of us here is on our way to destiny. But it takes power. Otherwise the gates will not open. Tonight, hear me. You are going to stand and pray until the chains that lock up the gate of your destiny give way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm preparing our hearts because we are going to pray. The devil must give up on you. You must pray until that spirit of barrenness jumps out of your life. You must pray until the chains that are tying down your life go. You must pray. There is a way you can pray yourself to victory. It's like a flight in the spirit. You keep praying. When the flesh is tired, you say, no way. When you keep ascending, you will get to a point in the spirit where you would have touched reality. Brothers and sisters, you will never come back again. It's an escape velocity in the spirit. And then you wake up and all of a sudden you see doors opening. Don't wait until a word of knowledge is given or a prophecy. Tonight we are praying ourselves to destiny. We are kings and priests. We will take on the priestly role first. We will stretch in the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? James chapter 5 verse 13. Is any man afflicted? Let him pray, not let him discuss, not let him complain. Is any man challenged by gates? Are there doors that have refused to open? Let him pray. Is any man jobless and you've done your applications and doors are not open? Pray your way to victory. Terminal diseases. It's because they have an occasion to lead to your flesh. When you generate power in the spirit, when you generate fire in the spirit, it burns every chaff.
Does any man desire to see signs and wonders and miracles in your ministry and in your life? You pray. 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 Anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power. Let me repeat it. Anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power. You can pray your way to victory in the spirit. You can pray your way to favor and breakthrough. You can pray your way and smash those doors. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. It takes prayer. When the apostles were caught and James was beheaded, it pleased Herod. The people were happy and they bound Peter. They were about to kill Peter and the church said, no way. And they began to pray. Prayer authorizes heaven to step in in your affairs. When you pray, you authorize heaven. When you pray, you activate the ministry of angels. When you pray, you begin the work of creation. Creation did not stop on the seventh day. God only rested. Those who can access the power and the light. Tonight I want you to be angry with the things that have been happening in your life. Some of us are like a battery. We have gone down spiritually. You must pray yourself to fullness. There are so many men of God who do not pray. And they stand and do all kinds of gymnastics. Let me tell you something. Nothing in your life will cover for the absence of prayer. When a man is not a prayer man, it shows there is, there is a touch of eternity upon you when you are a man of prayer. For Elijah was a man of like passion and he used prayer to lock the gates over a city. He did not use a discussion with Ahab. Prayer! He locked the gate and kept the keys in his pocket. He said that gate will not be opened except at my word tonight you can pray yourself to victory inside and outside and all around there are families that have come tonight people have traveled from far and near it's time to pray yourself to victory pray yourself to victory until you are full of the holy ghost the key of consecration the key of illumination the key of prayer being full of the Holy Ghost. You become a bank of spiritual power. Hear me. Let me say this especially. This seems to work only for men of God. It may not be applicable for other people. But let me give pastors a secret. The day power comes to your life, poverty has died forever. I guarantee you. I, the day power comes upon your life, Genuine spiritual power. Not nonsense that people are doing around. The day power comes. You have gotten something that is worth it. I was teaching the school of ministry students. And I told them that if not for anything. When you find the anointing. You have found what is more than gold. We trivialize the anointing. Hear me. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. Oh God, you are my God. Early, like we are doing, will I seek you. My soul thirst for you. I want to see your power and your glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Media, do you have this in the trim audio? I don't have it. There will be different sessions and I'm going to be leading the sessions. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying in tongues for one hour at a stretch non-stop. After that, when the spirit of prophecy is upon you, there is an anointing who anoint us and all of that and then we can minister to people but we need to pray. Do you have it? Are you ready with it? Okay, so quickly. 
everyone is going to participate we are going to pray it takes prayer it takes prayer everyone say it takes prayer to command victories say it takes prayer that's what a vigil is a vigil is not a time to sip tea and take lemon juice and, and banana cake you are joking a vigil is a time to tell the devil Christ has won this I come to establish my victory listen the breakthroughs that will arise from this prayer session will surprise many of you you never know how cheap Satan is until you're a man of prayer you never know how cheap doors can be how cheap they can open When you pray in the secret then you make your life easy in the open but when you do not pray many of us pray but we pray amiss tonight i want to teach you strategies deep strategies for spiritual prayer that will produce results that you are talking does not mean you are praying there are many people who are talking for a long time and they leave that place with the same misery and frustration there, there are dimensions and laws and there are rules of engagement i don't know about you but part of my request i told god i must step into new levels of grace in this vigil shortly before i came here i lay down flat before the lord and i said lord my personal desire I know you will use me to touch and bless your people. But whilst that is happening, I hold on to your garment. There is a new level. I saw in a vision a curtain open. And there was another one and I was pushed forward. I said, that's it. I must pray till what I have seen. Many of you have seen things in your dream. Prayer is the weapon that you use to bring it to pass. You have seen a great life. You have seen a prosperous destiny but there are gates make no mistakes about it your business will not just excel there are gates sister the marriage will not just happen there are gates but tonight ministries and destinies will rise to a new level please i'm saying this so that you will prepare your spirit prepare your spirit rise up everybody Inside and outside, please rise up. The first prayer point is a cry for grace. Call it the spirit of prayer and supplication. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, release upon me the spirit of prayer and supplication. Just pray. Please, everybody, rise. Rise, rise, rise. Stand on your feet. You came to pray. Do this for the sake of your destiny. Will you open up the gate? up the doors will you open up the gate open up the doors open up the gate Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Hallelujah. I want you to lift your voice and pray in one minute before we start praying properly. Say, Lord, I surrender everything to you. Lift your voice and pray. 
take everything inside and outside right to the back Lord I've tried to live my life my own way I surrender everything I surrender my will my ambition I surrender everything it belongs to you pray total surrender Lord, it belongs to you. The bread is yours. The gift is yours. The business is yours. The ministry is yours. It belongs to you. Hallelujah. Media, are you ready? Please let me know when you are ready. You are ready? Now, hallelujah. Dr. Cindy Trim is a woman of prayer. Cindy Trim is a woman with a strong prophetic grace for prayer. And we are going to be using her one hour prophetic declaration. She makes prophetic declarations. It's an audio while that is happening until it finishes is a guide the moment it starts we are stretching in the spirit no sleeping anyone who is sleeping hold his hands and walk around with them no sleeping praise the lord because this is about your destiny outside make sure you participate whatever you do be ready to stretch it in the spirit and i want you to imagine yourself ascending a ladder in the spirit where you are tearing down the walls of limitation. Hallelujah. Father, I stretch my hands over your people and I ask for a supply of grace to pray. Grace to pray. Let the spirit of prayer and supplication come upon you. Let the capacity, the capacity to stretch in the spirit. It cannot be by your efforts. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Praise the Lord. Lift your voice, everybody. Begin to pray in the spirit. Pray like a priest. Only in the spirit. Only in the spirit. Open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues. For as a prince. As a prince. This is not just your normal prayer life. I know, I know normally you pray. You are under a heavy unction. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. your Bibles please Psalm 92 Psalm 92 We're entering another 
praise. Verse 10. Psalm 92 verse 10. I want us to read it together. One to read. One more time. Horn is a symbol of authority. Horn is a symbol of power. The anointing was usually put in a ram's horn. It says, but my horn shall thou exalt. Just like the horn of a unicorn is always above. You will exalt my horn. He says, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Listen. The Lord asked me to do this before we begin to minister to the sick and all of that. This is ordinary oil. But there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon this. And this loses its earthly significance and takes on a heavenly significance. This is an anointing that is coming upon you to bring freshness to your life. This is an anointing that is coming upon your life to bring remarkable breakthroughs. I saw this when I was praying in a vision and that's why I'm just doing this. We're going to be very fast because there are still many other things to do. I'm going to pray on this and we'll put it in this plate and the ministers will help will just spread it around when they pass it to you just tap your hand and put it on your forehead and begin to blast in tongues when everyone is done then we we'll begin with the ministrations father in the name of Jesus Christ can you open them for this is ordinary oil but by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare that beginning from tonight they carry the anointing of the Spirit many of you as you partake of this fresh fire comes upon your life freshness listen Tonight is a night of encounter with power. Hallelujah. It's a night of encounter with power. Father, I lay my hands upon this. In a name that is above all names. May they become conduits of your power. May they become instruments of power. As this comes upon the heads of many. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that they will bring supernatural breakthroughs, supernatural freshness, supernatural grace. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost lift your voice and begin to pray and say Lord as this oil comes upon me something must break loose in my destiny are you praying as this oil comes upon me something must break loose in my destiny are you still praying Lord, I'm tired of stagnation. I'm tired of hardship. Keep praying. Lord, my heart is open. New dimension. New dimension of fire. New dimension of illumination 
new dimension of victory. New dimension of grace. Don't, don't start applying it yet. We're tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than me. There's gotta be more than me. Hallelujah. Now listen, please, I want you to know that this is not an ordinary oil. It has the power of God. What you do is just pass it to the first person. You just touch it and then begin to make declarations and prophecies. We'll do that very quickly so that we'll finish up because there are, there are still some other sessions and our time is already gone. Hallelujah. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Father, let there be all kinds of miracles and breakthroughs as your people encounter this oil in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead just tap it lay it on your head and begin to blast in tongues go ahead everybody you can put it on your hands if you want to but go ahead quickly quickly just pass it round, pass it round quickly. Make sure there's enough outside, please. Let everybody get it. Everybody. Go ahead and pray. Make decrees. Make decrees. Believe what you are doing, make decrees. Bible says, Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Those outside, are they do they have the oil? Please let's save time very quickly outside. Make sure your speaking, my life will never be the same. Please rise up everybody. Let's pray for one minute. Ask the Lord to visit you and speak to your situation. Go ahead, please pray. here kneeling with a child hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family that came here a family that came here I think this this has to do with sickness this is a family is it that you brought somebody or I'm seeing sickness and infirmity Please quickly let's save time we have we still have a lot hallelujah stand up sir where is your wife Because I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft and I'm seeing oppression in your life. I don't know you, I don't know if this is your first time coming here, but the Lord wants to bring a visitation to your life. Please believe me. The Lord wants to bring you. 
a visitation. Memuna. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Memuna. I'm hearing a name. I don't know if that's someone's name or that's someone's name. I'm hearing the name Memuna. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't have to call your case. Believe me. The atmosphere that we're in is enough to bring us that breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hearing that name, Memuna, I'm going to pray for you. Is your wife sleeping? Please let her come. I just want to minister to both of you. She can return back to the car. Memuna. Mommy, where is the woman with a prayer house? That mommy. Please make your way to the front. The Lord is saying I should minister to you fresh grace. Quickly, quickly, please. Where is that person? You're welcome in this place. Yeah. Who among you? Have a prayer house where that's what I was calling for. Come, why are you here? What's wrong with you? Eh? I'm looking at this young boy. What is this that I'm seeing? I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing snakes all over him. This is what I'm seeing. It came from you to him. Please collect this child. Let me minister to this woman. Please don't bring anybody out until I, I tell you to bring them out. Why are they here? Memuna, is that your name? Help us with a mic, please. Huh? Bring this little girl. How can such a little girl be so oppressed? You're sleeping. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this oppression leave this lady now. Mommy, I'm going to pray for you. You are stepping into a new level of the prophetic. Your eyes will be opened in a strange way. In a very, very strange way. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing close to you. I'm pouring like oil. This is what I see happening to you. Like oil being poured upon you. And the Lord says, I should tell you, you are stepping into another dimension. A strange dimension of grace. Lord, make this happen by your grace. A strange order and a strange dimension of grace. Madam, where are you from? Madam, where are you from? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing serious oppression and attack. It's not just on your baby. This thing, you are the one who really needs to be free, not even the baby. You get the point? But you have calm down now, madam. Let me talk to you. I'm seeing you in the spirit. There's no mic. Okay, that's all right. I'm looking at this madam in the spirit, and I'm seeing you fatter than this. I'm seeing what happened. You were sick. Even now. I don't even know that I'll come out. This is what I'm telling you because I'm looking at you in the spirit, and the weight I'm seeing. It's not the same with what I'm seeing right now. That's why I told you it's not the issue of your child. What is happening is simply translating from you to the child. Come, sir. You and your lovely wife. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Breakthrough. Tremendous breakthrough. Do you believe, madam? You believe that? Where do you walk? Are you walking? Where? Sterling Bank. It won't be too long. God is going to take you from that place. You know this now. You have been preparing to what? Yes. No, not true. Uh, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a referee. Like a, you know when it's almost time in a football match. This is what I'm seeing. Your time there is almost up. And God is going to lift you. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm declaring that let this happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
there is need to pray for your child um, I'm looking at this child and I'm seeing something like symptoms of fever, temperature. We have to pray for him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything that is not of God upon this child, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. Madam, the Lord says I should tell you that he's bringing you into a season of favor. Please, I want you to believe me. I don't just talk if God has not told me anything. Do you believe? Father, bring this family into tremendous realms of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why am I seeing Memuna on your head? Are you Memuna? That's your name. Come. You too, you are Memuna. I'm seeing a name written on her head and I'm seeing Memuna. Is that your name or is the name of someone? And I will restore. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, He can restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. Huh? two things number one your relationship with god huh you can't be one leg in and one leg out you get what i'm saying right leave all those friends and focus use this night let this be a night of determination in the name of the lord jesus christ father let her be free mama let me pray for you in the name of jesus christ i cause sickness i cause infirmity i'm going to pray for the sick but then I cause sickness from your body in the name of Jesus. And every act of witchcraft, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. I lay my hands upon this baby. What's the name? What's your child's name? Madam, what's your child's name? Destiny. I lay my hands upon destiny and I speak to you. Be made whole right now from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, be prayerful. Yeah? be prayerful there are some things i cannot show here but you see let me speak in parables you cannot come and collect my thing and pretend not to know me are you getting what i'm saying you cannot come and collect my thing in the secret and stand in the secret pretending not to know me it's very important be prayerful and he's either lord of all he cannot share his glory with any other thing get what I'm saying madam the Lord is going to lift you and tell you this I want to pray for your children because the devil wants to oppress them this is your child father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray in the name of Jesus Christ this is spirit let her go now out by the power of the Holy Spirit madam I pray for you I'm seeing three babies there are some women here. I'm seeing a woman particularly who came here specifically for the issue of fruit of the womb. Please, who is that person? I'm no, you are not standing for anybody. You came for yourself. Who is that person? Let me just minister to the person very quickly. Please, let's save time. Fruit of the womb. Because the Lord is showing me, I just had the cry, three babies. Congratulations, madam. Where is she? Your name is glorious, we lift you up higher, higher. There's somebody here, you are here with five broad, right now as I'm talking. Great wisdom for you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ha! Ah. I see the healing angels stepping into this place. We we'll begin to minister to the sick proper now. I don't know why God does it, but He's going to do it again in a strange way. The anointing of God is going to come upon a lady and she's going to shout. That loud shout will usher in the coming of the healing anointing. Please don't ask me why this thing happened. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher. Higher, your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. If you're sick in your body, please make your way to the front right now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. 
Everyone begin to pray, Lord, touch me. Please, if you're sick, just, just give them way. We're going to minister to them very quickly. Everyone will be touched. Everyone will be blessed. that's the end of it my dear that devil leaves you forever never to return never to return listen i want you to know that jesus heals here we have a track record by the grace and the mercies of god i'm going to minister to you very quickly so that we can speak specifically please make your way to the front just organize yourself and um, bring the lady. Where's the lady under the anointing? Case here. Yeah, I know. Eh? Look at, let me just calm down. I'm seeing something very funny and interesting here. Watch this. This woman, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a corpse. I'm seeing somebody they have already buried. You see her? This woman is almost quarter to go. I mean, it's not clear there, but there's almost nothing here. Bones. Watch this. Um, the spirit that wants to kill this woman is in her son this boy standing it's not like it's the boy that wants to kill her so they went to consult with somebody huh? they went to consult with somebody this person is like a herbalist and he told them this is the boy that wants to kill the mother he got it wrong because his understanding is limited it's not like the boy wants to kill her but the spirit at work in him is what is tying her both of them this is the spirit of death she would have died on the 22nd of this month 22nd would have buried her it would have been over she would have stopped talking from 19th and died on the 22nd God, you are higher than any other. Our God is He's awesome in power. Come on, sing it like victorious people. Our God. Lift your voice and say, Our God is greater. Hey. Our God is stronger. Father, in the name of Jesus, I set this boy free from witchcraft by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause that spirit that is responsible for tormenting this boy. Who speaks out now? Mama, Kiberta, leave her. Yeah, Kiberta, Bata Fadiba. She looks like a full eye woman. She understands how sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfect her. I curse this spirit. I take her out of these dungeons of death. Right now. belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god hallelujah the last and greatest session of this meeting is where i begin to prophesy that's where people receive the biggest breakthroughs and testimonies 
We may not be able to minister to everybody one by one, but I want you to know that God is going to bless you. Peter Adola is going to come up and for the next 10 minutes or so, he's going to lead us through a dimension of worship and praise unto God. And the moment that happens, I will come back and we'll take up the last session with prophecy and then we'll take a few announcements. We're done. Everybody give Jesus praise as we celebrate him. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we've come to let you know. Father, we love you. Oh. Father, we love you. And we come to let you know You are the most I God Father, we worship you You are the most I God Father, we worship you You are the most I God Father, we you. Father, we love you. Oh. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we're here to let you know. Let me say, Father, Father, we worship you. You are the most my God. Father, we worship. Say, Father, we worship you. You are the most my God. Father, we worship. Father, we worship you. Oh, oh. you are the most my God. Father, we worship you. Say to the Lord, you are the most high God. Father, we wait on you. Oh, you are the most high God. We wait on you, Jesus. We wait on you, Jesus. You are the most high God. We love you, Jesus. Oh, we worship. You are the most high we worship you. We worship you, Jesus. Most I God. Father, 
Father, we reverence you. You are the most high God. Father, we worship you. Father, we love you, Jesus. Here to let you know. We open up our hearts. 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 Come fill us, Jesus. With the water of life. We open up our hearts to you, Jesus. We worship you. Come and pour out your spirit on every flesh, oh God. We worship you. We pour our love on you. We pour our love on you. Till every flesh is crucified in We worship you. You are the most high God. Father, we worship you. You are the most high. You are the most high God. We worship. Father, we worship you. We worship. You are the most high God. We worship. Father, we worship. Say we worship. You are the most high God. We worship. Father, we worship. Hands lifted up, we worship. With our hands lifted up, we worship. When we lift up our hands, it's to you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. With our hands lifted up, we worship you, Jesus. We worship. Yes, we worship Jesus, the King of Glory. The Lamb of God who was slain before the foundations of the earth. We worship you, Jesus. Yeah. without you now say I'm lost without you I'm lost without I'm you I'm lost without you let the rain of your presence fall say I'm lost without you cover us with your grace Jesus oh. 
<laughs> Say, I'm lost without you. Let it rain on your presence, oh God. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. We give you all the glory and the honor and adoration to your holy name. Yes, I'm lost without your love, oh God. I'm lost without you. Here is power in the name of Jesus. Here is power. Break every chain, say Break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. Say, break every chain. 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 Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Come on, say, break every chain, break every chain, every chain, every chain. I see the chains are broken now. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. Say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every. Say break every chain. Say. Oh ho ho ho. Break every chain. Break every chain. Oh, 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 oh,
Just a voice.
just open your mouth and just begin to bless the name of your Father. seated here watching are the ones who will be doing this yeah and then you will tell them that this is how you were trained and you will tell them you were trained well the flesh can be tamed you can tame the flesh to a point that the spirit of God this is this is not it's not about the issue of struggling just leave him there it's okay hallelujah Praise the Lord. We have a few minutes and then we're done. I salute everyone. We'll have the last prayer session and then I'll just prophesy and speak over our lives. So can we all rise inside and outside? I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne I will worship him and give a praise to him alone he who was and lives and is to come I will sing before his throne You're holy, holy, yes, you are holy, holy, hallelujah, mighty one, Psalm 66 verse 3, please, our last prayer session, we're going to be praying, and we are going to be making decrees and commanding our lives and destinies. He told Job, has thou commanded thy money? Or are you just allowing it to happen? Believers have authority, but we must put the authority to use. And then we compel these powers to submit. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. He says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. I want you to believe in the prayer session we're about to have right now. Very brief, but very impactful. And I want you to pray and pray like your heart depends on it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when Moses began to advocate the release of the nation of Israel, God's covenant people, into their promised land. When the pressure got so much, Pharaoh negotiated. He said, all right, let, we have a deal. The men can go, leave the women and the children. Leave the factors that represent the continuity of that race, the women and the children. Let the men go because he knew they would perish. And Moses said, no way. We are going with our wives, our children, our cattle, and everything. So we are going to pray. The Bible says, Now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And it says God had blessed him in all things. Not some things. All things. It's, it's possible for you to experience breakthrough and advancement in one area of your life. But then you are tied in another area. Second Kings chapter 5 tells us about a man who was the captain of the Syrian army. The Bible says he was a great man. He did exploits, fought valiantly, but he was leprous. So we want to address those bots, those situations in our lives. Yes, you have done well. You are anointed. Yes, this and that, but there are certain areas. It must be total victory. Rise up on your feet. 
I want you to shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, Koinonia. Say in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I come against every power that attempts to fight my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I declare release of every other area of my life that is under attack. And I declare this morning that it is my time for breakthrough. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Shabarata kataba. Lift your voice. Come on, pray, 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 people of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Mention the areas in your life that are pending, that need the breakthrough hand of God. Mention those areas specifically. Please lift your voice and pray. Take this session seriously. We're almost done. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray for every area of your life that is yet to experience breakthrough. Decree and declare that after this vigil, you will begin to experience breakthrough in that area by the power of the Holy Spirit. We ward off the powers of hell standing against our lives and destinies. Are you praying? Are you praying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was you praying? When Moses finally convinced Pharaoh to release them, Watch this. As they released them, while they were going, the Bible says they met a Red Sea. So they had left Egypt, but there was a Red Sea in front of them. Are we together now? And the Egyptians were back to capture them. And they began to cry. And in Exodus chapter 14, Moses said, Stand still. Stand still. He says, The Egyptians you see today, Oh, you may have seen them for 430 years. But today, the Egyptians you see today, it says that you would not see them. And then he said, Moses, verse 15 now, Moses was crying before God. And he said, why will you cry? Tell the people to move forward. Make advancement. Listen, this prayer we are going to pray is important. Because many of us, this prayer will supply courage. Hear me. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward in business. It's time to move forward in your career. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray and say, Lord, everything keeping me down. Maybe it's the failure of the past. Maybe it's the lies of Satan. He has lied to you. Maybe you are fallen again. You entered a relationship. It did not work. You have refused to enter another one to get married. You did business and it did not work. And the devil is stopping you from moving forward. You, you tried to give birth and you had a miscarriage. But right now, he said, tell the people to move forward. The signs do not go before you. They follow you. When you take the step of faith, God is ministering to someone. It's time to get back. The anointing is still there. Where you fell is where you will rise and excel. The anointing is still there. Lift your voice and prophesy. I'm moving forward. Go ahead and pray. Pray. In my ministry, I'm moving forward. I refuse to allow challenges and limitations stop me. Inside and outside, I'm moving forward in every area of my life. You wanted to start a building project. A challenge came and you have refused to move forward. You tried to get admission. You tried once, twice. It didn't work. Listen. It says, tell the people to move forward. Koinonia, I announce to you an anointing by an encounter with power is upon your life to begin to move forward. Now prophesy. Lord, I'm moving forward. 
I break those barriers. I refuse to see challenges. That project is doable. The project is doable. The marriage is doable. Come on, pray now. The ministry can rise. It's achievable. It's achievable. It's achievable. I may have been thrown down once, but it is achievable. There is still an anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Bible says, there is hope for a tree. Even though it be cut down. Samson was a mighty man of power. But for some reason, he was anointed to be the judge over Israel. And for some reasons, he fell into the trap of a woman called Delilah. And that trap costed him his eyes. They plucked out his eyes and they shaved him. You would have thought that would be the end of Samson. Once a giant, the one who threatened the Philistines, the one who tore a lion and brought honey out of it, the one who removed a city gate, God is ministering to some people here. You have tasted power and honor, but something happened somewhere and brought you down. But tonight God is speaking to you that there is hope for a tree. You can rise again. When they took Samson and they took him to the temple and they were mocking him before our God, he prayed a prayer. He prayed a prayer of restoration that Lord, this one last time, let this anointing come upon me. And the Bible says he pushed. He killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime. Can I tell you something? You should know the difference between failure as an event and failure as a person. We live in a generation where every time you fail, there are so many people coming to prove to you, justifying their prophecies. Are you getting me now? You start a business or a company, it fails, and everybody tells you, you see, you start a ministry genuinely called by God no growth there is failure and people tell you stop wasting your time a gentleman gets up and says I'm going to get married and no finances no resources no job and everybody tells him you'll be a failure or maybe a student you went to the board and you saw that you're on probation let me announce to you tonight that it is never over until you choose to give up. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I won't give up. No, I won't give up. I'll keep pressing on till my answer comes. I won't give up. Lord, I won't give up. I'll keep holding on You came tonight with prayer requests. You came tonight with challenges. I want you to know there is a spirit behind that challenge. Every challenge in any man's life is a sign that there are demon spirits standing. That's not a sign that you don't have faith. It's a sign that you are in the world. The Bible says the whole world lies in wickedness. hallelujah do you believe what i'm teaching you true freedom then does not just become jumping around and shouting i am free when we can obviously see that there is a, a spirit influencing you how many angry pastors do you know they love god they jump around but you do something they can wind their hand and slap you because you see you can claim you are a man of god you can claim you are whatever but it does not stop those spirits from influencing you listen the influence of spirits over a man's life is a contention it takes light and revelation and the anointing for you to stand in a position where the holy spirit is the only spirit that is authorized to find expression in your human spirit and ultimately through your body 
but there are many people under the influence of many spirits and they will not agree their bodies are helplessly executing masturbation yet they love god their bodies are helplessly executing pornography their bodies are helplessly executing all kinds of things then we try to create messages to say it doesn't matter yo it matters don't let anyone fool you it does it does matter then you lie down in the night to sleep and here comes a gentleman or a gentle lady sleeps with you some of you stand up with bedwetting you stand up with every experience and you just pretend that nothing happened i i pretend i didn't see anything why are you deceiving ah nothing happened i'm okay and you get up and everybody who would have helped you in the day no longer is able to help you and you come back and say no 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 i, I think there's something i'm not claiming look calm down and let the power of god set you free or tell lies and join the crowd of liars with all kinds of struggles in the secret place who will not open up their hearts for true liberty the bible says now the lord is that spirit he said and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i was preaching i was in ministry yet demons were oppressing me shamelessly my own was so bad i would see them physically lie down to sleep and here they come marching gallantly into my room and oppress me they could oppress me so much i can hear people talking in the physical right a lady gets up and has an issue of blood one month two months three months losing blood losing your life no forget about the physical losing of the blood there is a spirit that losing of the blood is is a type of the manifestation of a spirit somewhere you get up a very healthy lady and all of a sudden you find out that there's lump in your breast and you just laugh and say it happens um when you eat in in restaurants too much when you eat fried foods lump will come out look at look at the explanation that you are convinced and, and the spirits are saying i like this generation i like the way science is hiding us from them a man goes to bed healthy and wakes up in the morning and one leg cannot lift again i think the protocol department were there when one small boy did something during counseling i think the last time we had counseling one woman that we prayed for during one of the miracle services so they came for counseling when they came for counseling i looked at the boy the mother was so slim and they were saying that the boy was in occult and all of that and i looked at the boy and i said are you in occult the boy said yes i said who tied your mother he said me i said why now he said they asked him to do it i said go on loser who was there you were there lawrence i mean this guy so wonders that will not end the boy just went sat down on the ground carried mama's legs and started doing it like this then later he'll say remain small he's about to finish when the boy finished he got up now you would have you would have seen that and said this small boy but this boy is only a slave to a spirit when a child of five years old will not let the mother rest that coconut head is not the physical head there is a there is a spirit that makes that head strong and stubborn are we together now slapping the child in anger is only wasting your time there is a spirit that can influence your life and bad luck follows you you become a magnet you never magnetize anything good if guy is to jam people you are the one it will jam if police is to gather some people as suspects it's just when they are catching people you just come in they say follow them you say no 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 i attend koinonia they say go ahead, explain in the police station now you may laugh about it you may laugh about it every bad thing happens to you everyone laughs in the class but the lecturer will ask you to stand up and say why did you laugh as if you are the only person and you were at the back listen that lecturer himself may be a victim to a spirit is joining your heads together and so by coming to his office you now say you i, I don't you smile what is your name now you are entered another level of, of trouble
humans victims to spirits that's what is happening in the earth i feel very sad when i see people they get up and they get up in the morning and they do not know listen they do not know that your body is only an instrument of execution there is a spirit that is driving you when you see favor coming to a man no there is a spirit that makes it happen there is an operation there is an anointing are you getting me now you can just be sitting down and then god will speak to you carry ten thousand naira and give a marker why didn't god say somebody should give to you there is something it's not just that okay god has pity no 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 if you understand this you will know how easy it is to walk in victory you don't focus on this physical body you focus on what spirit and what atmosphere influences it because that's what determines the possibilities there are people who almost never pay for anything when you are going to buy something that's where somebody comes and says do you know i was thinking about you this morning and you tell the person i'm not surprised because the activity of the holy spirit manifesting as different things favor the blessing whatever it is orchestrate events together for you are you getting what i'm saying now as a pastor the day the anointing is strong upon your life that's the day everybody who can help you will not come for the program you stand and preach your life out and everybody say kai we have seen what what god is doing through you and uh, as of family, we really appreciate. Uh, by God's grace, next convention will not forget you, I assure you. And you stand up and go. But someone else, the day he's coming, somebody is about to travel and mysteriously his car may spoil. And he'll say, let me attend this program. And he comes and says, God has been asking me to sow into a man. This preacher is that man. You think it just happens? The only thing that grows in a farm without being planted is called what? Everything of worth is planted. Are you getting what I'm saying? Favor does not just come. A ministry does not just grow. Anointing doesn't just come. Revelation doesn't just come. Honor doesn't just come. A man doesn't just become sick. A man doesn't just become healed. Was it not in your Bible? Listen. Listen. That the trouble around Daniel's life was the spirit of the Medes and the Persians. Is that not true? It was happening physically through human beings. But it was a spirit. Because it was under the influence of the, the, the Medes and the Persians. It was a spirit that made men to serve idols. And now a man came called Daniel. And he was praying and his prayer was judging those spirits and so they could not influence the king and he made the king like Daniel are you getting me now and the Kings liking Daniel made him to subscribe to the God of Daniel and those spirits said no we have to find a way of bringing enmity between the king and Daniel so one day you get up and somebody comes you you thought a neighbor just entered your house and jam your head you and your destiny helper and left it's not just that a neighbor came a spirit visited your compound using human vessels jammed the head of two people and left all of you together are you getting what i'm saying now a husband and a wife lovely people romeo and juliet the marriage is going well all of a sudden a spirit lands in that house and then something happens a woman who has been minding her business all of a sudden she looks at a text and doesn't see it properly and she thinks that she saw i love you to another woman she carries it and lands the phone on the man's head only to find out that it was maybe to their daughter or a spiritual daughter or something and now enmity starts and a lot of people sit down and say you see uh, just love yourself just manage like that wait and see the part two of that movie the Holy Spirit, I mean, the, the demon spirit will come again into the house. Something will happen. 
that demon spirit will start making that man to fail in his job are you getting the point now he will return back home with the anger of his job that spirit the same spirit will start making the woman angry and be impatient so her impatience is jamming with his failure in the office what does it produce divorce that's the name at the end of it the apostle and the prophet that should rise from that family no longer has parents and the boy who would have loved church who would have been faithful in church is now forced to follow bad gangs you just thought it was a physical acting the body without a spirit is dead every time you see things around your life not working the way god orchestrated don't sit down and discuss get into the place of prayer immediately there is war happening in the heavenlies there is a clash of spirits they are claiming your body listen do you know that when moses died watch this when michael came to carry the body of moses he found satan too satan wanted to use the body of moses enter it and resurrect as moses are you getting the point now resurrect as moses and start bringing error to people and he needed the body desperately and michael said no 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 i'm not going to drag with you the lord rebuke you how many people saw your mother in a dream a spirit carried the face of your innocent mother landed it in the dream of her enemy and she got up and said i knew it i knew it joshua selman's mother is a witch this one i saw it the woman came with a knife how many of our mothers and fathers have been called witches and wizards and and this is what many prophets see and because they do not have discernment are you getting the point now they now say i saw who some this and that and that and that is it not in your bible when a a, a diviner invokes the supposed spirit of samuel to prophesy I refuse any other spirit from influencing my life I, I, I don't have time for that I cannot be a victim for the the failure that is orchestrated look at Job one more scripture to prove this to you Job a man who loved God and eschewed evil but the Bible says a meeting happened between spirits in the heavens Job was not there oh. a man just gets up in the morning and they have concluded a meeting about you your children are on the way thunder strikes them you just finished furnishing your house thunder strikes it your cattle die mysteriously notice all the deaths that happened there was one one people left to come and testify is that a testimony job i'm the only one who is alive this is what happened and then the meeting was held again and he said let's touch his body ah. So a meeting can happen. Watch this. Let's destroy this family. And they conclude it. You snore your way through the morning. Wake up. And that's the last time you know peace in a long time. You are a victim. Your body is only a victim. Tonight, this is the, this is the theme of this miracle service. Let me tell you. When these spirits clear out of the way, you will be shocked to see the doors that will open for you. All of a sudden, you who nobody would call you, you will receive a call. The last time you spoke with that person was five years. He did just call you. The Holy Ghost made it happen because there was a spirit that was stopping that call. Every time they want to think about you, a distraction happens and you remain in that suffering. And when you come to us, men of God, we say, it's okay. Don't worry things will change one day go better that, 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 no, no 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 that's why i told you you must insist tonight you must insist you are mighty on your throne two things there are three things that give demon spirits access to people and families i want you to pay attention to what i'm saying three things number one covenants 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 you reign 
You ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. America as a nation, listen. A man can wear the inner wears of a woman. Watch this. And be moving on the street. And that man returns back. And blessings keep following him. A very stupid man. But good things are happening in his life. Let me tell you why. It's because of the covenant of the fathers. There were people who signed an agreement and said, Lord, we give this nation to you. Anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing. And so, a woman, a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive. In Nigeria, you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he will die. Was it the knife that killed him? Are the doctors so daft? Let me tell you what our forefathers left with us. Ready? This is what they left. They went to mountains, valleys, regions. Listen. And all kinds of ancestry. We can fake it and pretend. Listen. I'm a new creation person. I've read the Pauline epistles. Are you getting what I'm saying? I understand the grace of God and the new creation realities very well. But I know God and I understand his ways. Are you following me now? Please come, two people, very quickly. So that I need to, no, no, sit down, Pastor Fami. I promise you can come. Come, stand here, stand here. Watch this. In my example, this guy is a thief. This guy is a wrong occupant. Watch this. If this is my handkerchief and Ken comes to quickly steal it, the moment he hears the, my footsteps, what will he do? He will run away because he's a what? Thief. But if somebody comes and meets promise and say, promise, give me 10 naira, I will give you this handkerchief. And promise gives him 10 naira and he gave him the handkerchief. Is there a contract there? Is there a covenant there? If he sees me coming, will he refuse? Because you see, the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So, our forefathers went to idols and they said, protect our wives. Make the plants bring crops for us. In response, we will hold festivals every time. In response, we will donate children to you. In response, they, it was not their fault. They did it because Christianity had not come to Nigeria. Now watch this. When Samuel Ajayi Crowder and many other Christians came, they brought the gospel of salvation, not the mysteries of the kingdom. Are you getting me? They brought the gospel and we salute them. But that was not enough. The understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught. So even they themselves died. I traveled to, we were in Gombe. One time, Gombe State. And we're going to Yerima's village to go and greet his family. And on our way there, there was a rock, like a cap. And they were telling us a story there. That the people used to live there. That that rock used to open physically. There was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open. And people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war. And this is what they said. The last person to enter, you are the one that is donated to that rock. The last person to come out, you are also donated to the rock. Are we together now? And that rock has been faithful. Has been what? The same way our forefathers had bumper harvest, even where there was no rain, mysteriously the crops grew. These spirits kept their part of the contract. All of a sudden, some missionaries just 
found themselves into the village and they said we brought good news and they died in three days the spirit killed them immediately and said you are joking good news of what and then a few people received it and then when they received it they convinced themselves that because they are born again the territory was now changed I watched a documentary brothers and sisters in Fiji Island Fiji Island is an island small island but they love God now something happened there were missionaries who came to that place and they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them before the missionaries died they cursed the land they cursed the land and the people and they died and the people thought it did not matter one by one the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously when hunger hit the people from the government down they said something is wrong and god began to reveal to the church around there that look there are there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed this is what they did they began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries listen to me they brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city they loved them and the children blessed the land and say we release you from the cause of our fathers it's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing fiji island changed at once there are so many families that are seated part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract sealed now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants are powerful that was the very same principle Jesus used to redeem man covenants covenants are you getting what i'm saying now covenants are powerful until they are broken the spirits the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the of the covenant even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people I'm not telling you stories. I'm telling you what I was free from. Number two, ignorance. Ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people. Psalm 82 verse 5. Bless you guys, thank you. They know not, neither will they understand. They crop in darkness, confusion, ignorance. And as a result, the earth is out of course. But have I not said, verse 6, Ye are God, and all of you are children of the Most High. He said, But you shall die like men, men, and fall like one of these princes. The Bible says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Ignorance. Ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom. Ignorance of the principles of the kingdom. Ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit. Number three, disobedience. personal disobedience Deuteronomy when you read I think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you is tied to your obedience the Bible says, having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected, when it is complete. Disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives. Don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey God, nothing happens. No. It's not about God doing it. It's about the laws in the spirit. They will not change. They didn't start with the Old Testament. Those laws predate our dispensation. Are we together now? So tonight, I want you to look at your life very carefully. Especially for those of us who have come. Have you not seen 
traces of the influence of darkness in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with God but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way I come by the blood I come to challenge these things there are many of us you have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happens let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land i know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and receive the slap in the in the in the land true true story because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site that temporal site used to be a hospital are you getting the point where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen I tell you many students had encounters with strange beings you are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds sounds that can give you a headache for a long time I remember our school getting ultimate power so that we will watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this this nonsense many students were initiated into occultism because of that but tonight we come in the name of the Lord, the captain of the army. That this situation in your life must end. I sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies. A testimony is simply what happens when the Holy Spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life. Any other spirit must create problems. Tonight, daddy mommy sisters and brothers there is need to deal with certain things in our lives i saw poverty in my family as if we offended god coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background your name can be solomon you will remain poor until what needs to be addressed, be addressed that's why i told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance listen as we begin to pray many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone really when you understand this you will know what a miracle is a miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs this is what Jesus did to the woman who was bound. He looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years. And he said, woman, thou art loose. Loose? He didn't say thou art healed. He said thou art loose. The moment the spirit left, he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body. And there she went. Remember that madman at gathering? That was an evangelist in a cave. Tearing himself into pieces. The moment the spirits heard that Jesus was coming, they were waiting for him at the other side. Hallelujah. Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. I'll never forget one time I was praying. Praying seriously I was in the spirit. And I had a vision. I saw that there is a tree that is close to where I stay. And I didn't see that tree again. I just saw a great beast like, like, a, like a being. The tail was a snake. The eyes were big like human head. Imagine 
this head now like an eye two of them one here one here and the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger and all he told me is so you think you can bring god's people into prosperity and then it left that was it mighty on your throne mighty on your throne that's the reason why every time satan wants to destroy you the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person so your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me and satan will say amen let's go and then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say help me tonight we are going to cry to the king of kings i don't know if you came for this miracle service especially for those who are family people here you should never go back the same you see the results of people 4.8 five points they have always had that ability even when they were getting one point it's a spirit that makes that happen don't let anyone fool you you are not so daft human beings were created intelligent when you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the bible because there is a spirit stopping you if this was a novel some of us would say take this i will bring it for you next week friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward you started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance after you read it you now threw it away because you cannot help yourself in the flesh it takes the anointing of the spirit that's why he sends carpenters that's why he puts miracle services like this so that you can come under the influence of god's power how about genotype issues ss you get up and find out you are ss or as do you know the bible never mentions the issue of ss or as are you aware of that that thing was a technology that was fabricated by satan to stop people from getting married you see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance the good news is that jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me 
same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Yeah. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Sing it two more times with faith in your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Jump up on your feet and sing it one more time. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Say, power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Listen, deliverance, therefore, is a separation. It's the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences. The spirits that attempt to influence your life. The legal separation. Brothers and sisters, when that happens to you, then you will see gates open by themselves. When that happens to you, you will see realms of favor. All these things people pray on. You must challenge those spirits. You must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family. And God is ready for us tonight, I tell you. God is ready for us tonight. Lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word. The body without a spirit is dead. The body without the spirit is dead. Now I realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life. Lift your voice and thank him for this revelation. Lord, I now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family. There is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life. There is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let the dissatisfaction rise from you. Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power. Conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Just the voices, sing it from your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. The power that can challenge any altar. The power that can challenge any force of witchcraft. Any generational cause. One more time, sing it. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me, same power, power that conquered the grave. Lives in me, lives in me, your love.
of your love, say, Lord, love, that rest to the earth is in me, it's in me. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it say it must stop tonight lift your voice oh come on koinonia you should be praying challenge the spirit challenge the spirit behind failures challenge the spirit behind marital delays Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. Hey. The spirit, the body without a spirit is dead. Hallelujah. 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 Look up, please. Your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Are you getting what I'm saying? The key to liberty is to evict the spirit that initiates that thing. For a body without a spirit is dead. Any cause without a spirit backing it is dead. Is null and voice any pronouncement any enchantment without a spirit is dead therefore I want you to lift your voice and I want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold I give you power over snakes, scorpions, Break Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. There are spirits that will never allow you walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will they will bring you into error so that everything you see meets leads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. Break it, 
Oh, it must change. It must change. It must change. It must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot live? Maka kapata. Lift your hands to the heavens. Lift your hands. My goodness. All I see in this room and outside is fire. That's all I see. Fire. You will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen. This one is the one that will bring your miracle. Listen. As this prayer goes on, miracles will start immediately. Many of you will start getting reports from your body. Many of you will be open to visions. Right now, lift your hands. Hallelujah. My goodness, there is such a heavy unction on me. It's for deliverance tonight. It must give way for you to move forward. At the count of three, hear me. Listen, I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. At the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction. As you shout it, fire. Some of you visions, your eyes will be open in the spirit. You will see covens catching fire. Mata Labata. Father, you told me tonight is a night of deliverance. There are families under bondage. There are businesses under bondage. Enough is enough. Let your fire bring deliverance. Are you ready now? At the count of three, may heaven invade this place. One, two, three. Second, second, second. I command covens. I command altars. I command spirits. Kaporotose. Bring them out. Fire. 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 Brings deliverance tonight. Shaka ba 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 ba. Emrotos tete. Shake tete 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 tete. Reke tete 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 tete. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is showing me a vision. We are going to shout it again. Please don't do it here. I see many people vomiting poison, physical poison. As you shout, physically. It will come out. Lift your voice. Bata bata. Shaka ta ta ta. Mare tete tepa. Father, anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now, as you shout, Jesus, we are victim. One, two, three. Shaka ta 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 ta. Shaka ta 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 ta. Shaka ta ta ta. E protos mokotos lekotos. Pronto tocate eriakata. He must let you go. He must let you go. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives.
my goodness fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the Lord is giving me a word right now there are ladies here there is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you to sleep with you right now Lord where are they let that fire let that fire bring deliverance right now right now right now right now every spirit husband every manifestation every spirit wife every devil that has leads to you it leaves you now now right now he must leave you now hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady you see physical snakes where is that lady physically physically it appears to you physically the lady is right here please come out i don't know who that lady is physical snake it appears to you you see it let me tell you something after this miracle service you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you that's when you will know that satan is not as powerful as he looks hallelujah lift your voice and pray any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers have been called out of every tribe every tongue i am i'm a new creation no longer connected to ancestry lift your voice and pray every altar that connects me to my fathers every witchcraft that attempts to connect me no i'm in christ I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lady. Please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now. Right now. And make your way to the front. I see someone having severe pain. Your tie right under here your tie there is severe pain severe pain the lord is healing that person right now please check yourself and make your way to the front right now check yourself make your way to the front i'm seeing two ladies you came here with heaviness there is heaviness on your chest it's just like something heavy god is healing people can you appreciate jesus hallelujah There are miracles happening. Make your way to the front now. We'll give you room to testify. Stand here. All the people that are coming out for miracles, just stand here. Right now, there are miracles that are happening. I see someone, like your nose, it's like there is an irritation in your nose. While we were praying, you felt like there was fire on it. And now it's lifted. Now it's lifted completely. It's gone right now. Right now. Right now. I'm seeing someone, severe peptic ulcer it hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now i see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die 
not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if i don't call anybody's case i'm going to pray for the sick i'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies god is giving people miracles miracles right now miracles right now miracles are happening right now i'm seeing somebody listen there is a growth you came here with the growth at the back of your neck check it now it has disappeared check it now now and make your way to the front put your hand there and check it you will find out that that growth is gone completely i'm seeing two holes two holes of a left teeth being healed right now check it you won't find the hole again two holes two holes of your teeth check it right now and make your way to the front my goodness god is doing miracles in this place there are miracles that are happening miracles that are happening i saw this same case in kaduna this morning now i'm seeing four people four people there is one guy and three ladies you have pile pile for one of the ladies when you go to ease yourself it's as if you are giving birth blood comes out go and check yourself now you find out that that pile is gone gone back to the devil go and check it please please we are not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it i know there is a guy i saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady tears just start coming out of your eyes without any you are not crying but it just starts coming out it's very embarrassing it starts coming out right now the lord is healing you wherever you are confirm it and make your way to the front right now confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now right now confirm it and make your way to the front we'll give all of them room to testify god is healing people right now i'm seeing someone with this finger look at me this finger this very finger that's what the lord is showing me there is a miracle happening on that finger this very one i don't know if it broke or something happened to it but there is a miracle happening to that finger right now right now i'm hearing a name gabriel 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 who is gabriel 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 the lord is bringing a a miracle for gabriel gabriel i've been fighting this name but let me bring it out i'm hearing a name asabe i don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family asabe asabe i'm hearing that name who is asabe please confirm make sure you confirm it let's not huh you are asabe uh but i'm seeing another person again no oh. eh? this you are please stand here miracles everywhere come tell us very quickly come come please help us give aaron let's let's coordinate them okay come sir let's just listen to this give them the mic lawrence just testify tell us look at the crowd straight to the point what happened to you what is the miracle praise the lord i am the girl whom the man of god prophesied i have an irritation in my nose since 2012 2012 yes. and now what happened every day once i put my hand i i always notice blood coming out but now i felt something drop out of my nose that devil leaves you forever in the name of jesus christ free give jesus praise god is doing miracles here all kinds of miracles are happening in this place please the next people let's have them come very quickly just turn and let's testify don't look at me look at the crowd praise the lord hallelujah i i have this bonus while we are patient. talking there is a lady who will come strongly under the anointing outside please pick that lady and bring her 
as we are talking the power of god is in fact two ladies two ladies outside mightily by the anointing please pick them and bring them yes ma hallelujah on my left thigh i have this burning sensation i don't even know what cause but i know that once it starts it burns me as if i'm sitting on fire okay but now it's gone and since last hearing this voice saying i will die even when i was coming last week i had this fear that i was going to but right now it's gone. completely gone give jesus praise god bless you yes please check yourself if you see a miracle you can come out we are going to pray for the sick but we want to take testimonies we'll give you an opportunity to tell us what god is doing mama please stand up please don't let mama sit down for god's sake give her a chair mama should not be kneeling down praise yes Lord. please sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest but now i feel very breathe in and out breathe in and out any pain any pain is there any pain is there any pain give jesus praise yes please praise god while he was preaching i was having peptic ulcer so peptic ulcer out, but while we start praying it left me and there's I'm one more outside go and carry her it left me immediately now i'm not feeling it again. no pain again give jesus praise yes ma'am praise, praise the lord i used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002 but um when I went to see the doctor, they said it was pneumonia. It's, sometimes I can't breathe. Pneumonia. The pastor said I should, we should shout Jesus. I can't breathe. I can't shout too much. But the moment I shout Jesus, I fell on the floor. Everything just left you. No pain again. Praise the Let Lord. Let me pray for you. It never returns to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. I don't know what the eye problem is, but it's living right now. Please confirm yourself. Eye problem. Check it. Check it. We are not playing games, please. Check it. Check it. Eye problems. I'm seeing a miracle happening right now. Eye problem. Confirm it and come out right now. I'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case. At least 10, like the lower abdominal region right here. You've been having se severe pain. It's like something pulls you there. Check it right now. You'll find out that you receive a miracle. At least 10 people. Please make your way to the front at least 10 people check it right now god is doing a miracle don't sit back inside and outside lower abdominal region lower abdominal region that miracle is happening right now right now right now at least 10 people 10 people with that pain as soon as you check it make your way to the front celebrate jesus god is healing them they are coming they are coming all of you you can come and stand here the moment you receive a miracle please stand here they'll confirm you at least 10 ladies right at this lower abdominal region hallelujah i'm seeing a gentleman you came here with a throat condition in fact um let me just describe to you they are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat it's like there is an elongation some i'm seeing them saying they want to use is it knife or something and cut something that uh, an elongation who is that person the lord is healing you right now right now you can't swallow things you always feel like it's like bone but it's like there is something on your throat almost perpetually right now check it check it check it completely the power of god is coming upon you there is a lady god is healing your mother but the power of God will come upon you as a witness to that. Lord, where is that lady right now? Where is that lady? Identify her, oh God, by the power of God. Right now. Right now. Right now. Please bring the lady out. God is healing her mother right at home. And God is using what is happening as, as a point of contact. As a point of contact. I'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump. I'm seeing one on the left, left side. Please check it, check it. When you receive a miracle, testimony is one way to seal it and keep it. The Lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair 
that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly please loud and straight to the point Praise the Lord. help I us sound please can you help us with this mic i used to have this pen down my stomach here but now i'm not feeling completely okay. gone yes are you sure yes. how long has it been come on koinonia let's not get too used to miracles in this place hallelujah it never returns to you in the name of jesus christ the next person please my goodness look at what god is doing god is giving people miracles go ahead my name is like i'm pregnant it's become like pain as in i'm pregnant and i've been complaining that for months but today when you pray i was going on i felt relief and my stomach in fact nothing. as she was talking hold on the lord opened my eyes there is a lady your stomach is already swelling this is almost is even beginning to embarrass you it's not just like a stomach protruding you are feeling it very hard and stiff um, it's, you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid please check it right now God is giving you a miracle God is giving you a miracle God bless you, bless you quickly when they say we should shout praise the Lord, so I now shout the stomach used to pay me even before I come to Zaria but I can't feel it again Completely yes. give Jesus praise it never returns again, yes please praise the Lord um, recently I started having this eye pain when I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eyes get blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I used to have this abdominal pain almost all the time. But it just left me immediately. Give Jesus praise. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. So, I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance and complete deliverance please help them so that they don't fall on, on praise the lord the abdominal pain normally comes and go and when i was outside i was still feeling my stomach hooking such that i could not stand well i was bending and then when the man of god spoke i got up and stretched and to the glory completely of the lord, no pain again come on give jesus praise give jesus praise the lord mine is more of um creativity ideas that God is to give me every day when I'm in my quiet time and it's it happens that every time I try to push further I realize that there are a lot of setbacks distractions and uh, confusions that comes my way and right now, but what right happened? now when at the mention of the name Jesus I felt my body on fire I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes, of that creativity yes, comes, yes, comes to you yes, in the sir. name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I came here with a severe eye eating. At the shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Completely. Believe me, that name works. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Chica concerning pain. Pain. You went to the hospital. Yeah. What did they say is wrong with you? They, did, they couldn't see anything. They couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. And when you were praying, you prophesied that there is a uh, ten people here that that God is working on yes. their system. And, and now what has happened to you? The pain is gone. The pain is completely Even gone. Give Jesus praise. Even the medical report is in my room. The medical report is in your room. Yeah. You go and check yourself, and you find out. All of you that were under the anointing, when you get up, don't just go back to your seat. Check. You will find out that all kinds of things have happened. You are not just falling for nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the, praise the Lord. I'm trusting God for a new set of dentition. My teeth are just... Go ahead. <laughs> the power of God is on her. Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people, and, um, it's okay. Um, there's okay. this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later, you specify by saying the, your left side of your breast. I notice 
like swelling up and sometimes i very i feel like very a swelling there yeah. yeah and I now have you checked it yes I, is there I, anything I there completely okay, gone come on yeah. give jesus praise it never returns again in the name of jesus christ praise the lord i thank god for the spirit of fear as in i do get scared a lot but i now i'm free in the, name the spirit of, of fear come it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, Praise please. the Lord. I want, to, I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child. When, when, I, was, when I was young, I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I, I feel relieved. I just Completely. want to thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got here. I announced. I saw I've been that shaking, a baby, I've a been finger. shaking it. I've been shaking it and no I'm pain now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. This Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress, Mama. If she's if she's out because she's sick, Mama Kizona Zah make her do Please, you people should not stress this old woman. If she should even when she's coming out, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her. Please, the Lord is, is wiping the tears in your family. You believe that when a word comes like this, it comes to give you liberty. Hold my hands, Father, in the name of Jesus. I end this oppression in this family right now. It goes forever in the name of Jesus. Who has an elder brother? Who has an elder brother? Yes. Do, you, do you have an elder brother? Yes. What is he doing? He's a carpenter. He's a carpenter. Yes. The person I'm, I'm talking about didn't go to school, though. Is your brother? Yes. Where is he? He's in the village. He's in the village. God is going to lift him. What is this thing that I'm seeing them <laughs> laughing at him and they are saying it? It's not his fault that he didn't go to school. Even you, it's by the grace of God that you are here. It's not like maybe yes. it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that. It's the favor of God. Yes. But God, as a sign, go and tell him, call him after Koinonia. That the Lord said is going to connect him to a rich man. He should be faithful to that man. Amen. That man will bless him. Amen. Father, let there be breakthrough in this family. In the name of Jesus. Asabe. Gabriel. Oh, your name is Gabriel. Your name too is Gabriel, sir. Who is Titi Lyo? Titi Lyo. I'm hearing a name, Titi Lyo. Please, let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Lyo. I'm hearing the name Titi Lyo. Titi Lyo. Who is working here, sir? You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing... The Lord is... Sir... It won't be too long. You are leaving Gusau. We spoke, at least we spoke. That one is not word of knowledge. We, we spoke about it, but it won't be too long. The Lord is lifting you to another place. Go and write it down. This will happen to you. It won't be too long. Write it down. You will come back and testify before them. It's not a disadvantage. It's something that will bless you in no small way because you have come with your heart open in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I lay my hands, I pray right now. That you bring your word to pass concerning his life in the name of the lord jesus christ i hear breakthrough for you sir this is what i hear the lord is saying i should announce breakthrough to you father i hold his hands and i announce breakthrough in jesus name praise the lord your mother is sick what's wrong with her she has been bleeding for the past one year bleeding you, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing? No, sir. You, you are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, sir. no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. 
hold my hands look at me do you believe god will touch your mother where is she where is home taraba taraba state yes, sir. you are from taraba yes, sir. lord show mama mercy right now in the name of jesus christ as he touches you he touches her please don't just come out at will ah, you are related to her your sister is titi Lyon. yes sir where is she she's in cardinal what's she doing she's schooling at cardinal she's schooling okay let's pray for her father in the name of jesus christ what are you doing you i'm a student sir where kpss Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her, is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your sir. mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes. this thing. Is yes, that sir. true? Your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. Hallelujah. Now, please, this is the time to minister specially to sick people. You know the nature of our programs here. We will need a lot of time. So, if you are not sick, if you are escorting somebody, please just bring the person and go back. And once they pray for you, don't wait for another prayer. One touch is okay. Some of you, when they pray for you, you refuse. You still stand back. Please, once they pray for you, just check yourself and go back. Praise the Lord. And then, don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that. If you came with somebody who is sick, now is the time to bring them out while we are praying. Please arrange them. Now is Mama's time. All this, all our mothers, they can make their way now. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wings. The power and love our God is an awesome God. Our God. Please clear the way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere. hallelujah now let's save time while we are praying for the sick all of you begin to submit your prayer request please i permit you to put on your phone if you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests call them because what god is doing tonight is unusual call them and tell them there's fire upon this place they should submit their prayer request ushers please begin to go around those online those who are connecting with us through the internet they can also connect by faith as we trust God for miracles. Worship team, please get set. You'll be giving us powerful worship songs. We'll just pray for our elderly ones. Let the Lord touch them. And then he will give us peace. Please and please, um, when we pray for you, you clear the way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. Awesome is your name. You do mighty, you do glory, you do glory, you're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people. Any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well done, sir. Please sit down. Your dad. Welcome, sir. Straight, straight to the point. His legs have swollen because it's been long I saw him. He's been, he doesn't breathe well. And at the same time, he's having problems with my man. None of his children look at him except me. The same problem that mama is having, that is faithful. It's just similar thing. We are eight. <laughs> oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Let there be deliverance, oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. As well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the lord jesus christ please after today check him and don't cry don't cry eh? clean your tears clean your tears baba they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know since it's not something we can check you are already walking in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i pray in the name of jesus that the power of god will come here right now as i lay my hands upon you i want you to believe we all came here because we trust Jesus Christ and there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this, that as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're our God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faith. God, awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at a very awesome serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe, listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing? Look at this. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How would you like to have a child? That, do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names. We lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him, but God will use him. My God, I pray right now. Let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness. Right now in the name of Jesus.
out of her right now. Let her go. Out. Out of her. Out. Out. Release her right now. Let's hear what this madam is saying. Sorry, who brought her? I say I, I go village now. I'm mad from village. I go election. I will charm from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your dog now? Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them sevenfold. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter. You are her daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell me. This is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a... Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In Jaham, you go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. Yes, this is. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a well wind on his head. You, you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding a go to it. Jesus came that you'll be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, we cancel those relationships right now. Yes. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it. But I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If it can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it, go in this place. If you know you smoke it, go. Or codeine. Or Once I make the altar call. Just run and come and kneel down here. Because tonight is your night of salvation. Please, don't play games with your destiny. Anything you smoke, anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency. The moment there's time for altar call, please make your way here. We love you. But then the Lord wants to touch you. Let's hurry up because our time is gone. Your name is here. Out.
the request right now at the same time an altar call is is, an altar call will be going those who need Jesus Christ you are here right now inside and outside there are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies the ones that I spoke to now is the time you can come before the presence of God don't feel bad we're a family and any other person there are those who are saying Lord I'm tired of the way my life is I need a new beginning. As we pray, please come and wait here. Join this lady very quickly. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. Please, let's save time. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. God bless you. A new beginning. God is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You are saying, Lord Jesus, I make up my mind to walk with you. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? God is saving sinners. Keep coming from outside. Please clear the way for them if they are coming. Salvation is a very serious issue. Clear the way for them so that they'll come. Don't let any devil stop you. You are welcome. I know we're out of time. But please make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front. We love you. No man condemns you. He can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you here. I don't care what you have done or what you have not done. I want you to know that His Majesty can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died and rose again. I'm tired of the way my life is. I surrender everything to you. Seriously and completely. From this night, take over my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Let your life come upon me. I break free from habits, from sins, and everything that destroys my life. From today, I'm a child of God. I am saved in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for these ones. Unashamedly, they have come before you. Preserve them by your power in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that you will use them mightily in the name of Jesus. I break the power of sin over your life. You will never return, especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking, you will never return to it again in the name of Jesus Christ. That power is broken from off your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to follow a gentleman. They will have your details. And then on Tuesday, unfailingly, please be around. Um, meet with the prayer department and um, they'll fire you up you'll be with them for at least a month they will guide you the gentleman is waving his hand salute them everybody congratulate them stretch your hands towards a prayer request in one minute please everybody rise we're rounding up stretch your hands towards a prayer request your request is here begin to speak prophesy prophesy over it in the name of jesus christ prophesy over it prophesy over it Lord unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come are you praying Lord do miracles every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here we judge that spirit every spirit every covenant every influence makata lato desetebe Manda prendo so so prida bala da basca pratica de bene de bosch Prato so pratica de bene de bosch Every spirit responsible for barrenness here yeah. responsible for any setback in the name of Jesus we challenge it by the blood of Jesus we challenge it by the blood of Jesus we challenge it by the blood of Jesus we challenge it Lord let your people have testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we declare that every request every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ 
and you will stand to testify before the people of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Now lift your hands and receive the prophecy. I decree and I declare over you every confusion in your life, every cry for direction. Right now, in the name of Jesus, may you receive direction for the next level of your life. Receive direction for the next level of your life. Receive direction for the next level of your life. Every area of confusion, I arrest it right now. You will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those who are students, I pray for your academics. The exams that are about to come your best result in your various institutions this exam is what will produce it in the name of the lord jesus christ may you record five points in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for every family represented here whatever has stagnated your family by this anointing i declare move forward move forward move forward in the name of jesus christ everything that has covered your glory so that the glory of the lord upon your life will not be seen in the name of jesus we tear that veil off we tear that veil off by the power of the holy spirit whoever needs to help you before next miracle service i call them forth into your life mysterious help us mysterious help us in the name of jesus christ i pray for you fresh grace for prayer fresh anointing for prayer every lack of passion for the things of god i kill it right now in the name of jesus every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life it dies a natural death here tonight in the name of jesus christ i pray for you with these hands that are lifted go and begin to produce results go and heal the sick go and open doors for the oppressed in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for families that are trusting god for miracle marriages we release those marriages right now i pray for families that are trusting god for miracle jobs we release those jobs right now please believe me as i pray we release those jobs right now in the name of the lord jesus christ anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death that the devil has said you will not see the end of this year in the name of jesus we lift up that embargo we lift up that embargo favor like you have never seen receive it right now open doors like you have never seen receive it right now breakthroughs like you have never seen receive it right now i speak life to every dying thing in your life in the name of jesus christ whoever has rejected you may they look for you in the name of jesus christ i command prophetic dreams mysterious spiritual experiences may god show you the solution to your problems in dreams and visions whoever is behind the failure of your life we command judgment upon them in the name of the lord jesus christ i prophesy unto you access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to deep revelation access to insight in the spirit whenever they are looking for men to favor may they find you may they find you in the name of jesus you are blessed in the city and blessed in the country you are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of jesus i declare that the seal of the blood is upon you you have no covenant with failure you have no covenant with death may god use you mightily 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 I declare, may the mantle of honor come upon your life. 
that mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously i release it upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus the mantle of honor i pray for you extraordinary intelligence levels of mental acumen in the name of the lord jesus christ extraordinary intelligence i cast out the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death i rebuke it from your life in jesus name and every depression upon your spirit i release you from it right now every voice that has told you you will not succeed we cancel that voice right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you passion for the things of god hunger for intimacy with the holy spirit grace for fasting and prayer genuine fasting and prayer access to spiritual power activations of the gifts of the spirit visions and and the move of the spirit upon your life in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise in the name of jesus all those worshiping with us for the first time please make your way to the front right now very quickly we're really out of time we have two minutes and we're out please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us some have come from far some from near different states please come we have a prayer and a blessing for you celebrate them koinonia keep clapping they are coming may god bless all of you who have invited them their lives will never be the same in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand i prophesy to you in the name of jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ i see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically i'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically i prophesied miracle marriage for you in the name of jesus christ for one of you the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before october your wedding will happen before december 31st in the name of the lord jesus christ we decree and declare over your life you will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of god there is someone here you are standing you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch one week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for coming we love you and we honor you please follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you have a few details celebrate them koinonia hallelujah hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze 
and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.